Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. While we've tested Windows Defender several times in the past with varying results, it has usually been with default settings or with slight modifications. So today we're going to see how it does with its absolute maximum security configuration. This video is sponsored by Chasm, a web service that allows you to set up completely secure, remote and disposable Linux workstations or browser sessions with a few clicks. Want to check out that sketchy website risk-free or want absolute privacy while browsing? Check them out using the link in the description and watch till the end of this video to hear more. In order to achieve this, we're going to use a tool called Configure Defender. This is going to allow us to set some of these advanced settings, which you can normally do using group policy. We've got the protection levels here, default, high, and max. So you know what we're going for, we're going for max. Needless to say, this is not necessarily the ideal configuration. If you're a home user, it's going to interfere with other applications running. You might have trouble launching your games. However, it might be ideal for high sensitivity environments. If you're an enterprise or you only use the computer for very limited purposes and you just want to lock it down as much as possible, this might be your best approach. Obviously, behavioral monitoring is on, block at first sight is on, cloud delivered protection is on, but more importantly, cloud protection level is set to block, which means anything suspicious, whether it's malicious or not, is just going to be blocked straight away. We're also going to detect PUAs or potentially unwanted applications. When it comes to smart screen, again, it's set to block for everything. Exploit guard is fully turned on. This is really as extreme as it gets with uh, Windows Defender. We also have very restrictive controlled folder access, which means you can't really modify files in folders across the board with a few exceptions. Now it's time to test this configuration and see how it holds up against a real world malware attack. In order to do that, as usual, we have our miscreants from the wild west of the internet. In this classified folder located on the network, we have 1,764 items. This is raw data collected in the last couple of days. So there's malware, PUPs, ransomware, all sorts of threats in here. In order to simulate an attack, we're just going to use our usual malware analysis and cybersecurity testing tool, Malex, which has got a few features added in. So now it's going to be able to tell us the modifications that the malware does on the system as well. First, of course, we'll have to navigate to Zshared, which is our network location, and then we can launch Malex and we're pretty much good to go. Before we do that, I'm just going to open up Task Manager so you can see resource usage in real time as Windows Defender cranks up. We're going to sort everything by CPU. All our protection parameters are turned on. So, well, let the testing begin. Now, of course, in order to even get this test to run, I had to make a few modifications to attack surface reduction because that effectively means that any executable, regardless of where it's from, is going to be blocked automatically unless it passes certain criteria. That includes things like Python, and so you wouldn't even be able to have this entire test situation. But of course, I have whitelisted our testing script in order to allow it to run. Woohoo, looks like our test is complete with an absolute 100% proactive detection. Now, of course, this is not that much of a surprise given that with the current ASR or attack surface reduction settings, it's unlikely that any of these files would be allowed to execute regardless of whether or not they were malware. Now let's do a quick test just to see how usable this configuration would be for you. So we're just going to browse online for a third-party application. Maybe we'll just download a game, Pocket Tanks.
There we go, we've got the file. Now let's try to install it. Looks like we have it on the desktop. Now we'll go ahead and launch it. And there you go. The game is successfully running. So usability doesn't completely go out of the window with this approach, as extreme as it might seem. But in order to make that happen, I've added certain exclusions into ASR, like the desktop and other such locations. Now let's see what happens if we try to grab a ransomware and execute it on our system. So we're going to go and get uh, maybe something really new like Wasted Locker. And it is immediately detected and blocked. Not bad. Now in order to do another little usability test, I'm going to copy our text logs for Malix from the shared folder onto the desktop. And as you can see, we can do that successfully. And if we go ahead and open it, everything reads just fine. So there you go. With a few tweaks, with attack surface reduction and some of the other advanced settings, it is possible to set up a very secure workstation or desktop environment in Windows 10 without entirely making it unusable for any other purpose. So if you are an organization or enterprise where you're running Windows 10 on a lot of systems, you might want to follow the steps shown here. Now, I'm also going to leave a link to the Configure Defender tool in the description so you can go ahead and access the same settings and uh, do these modifications using the GUI, which is very convenient as opposed to going in and manually changing these in group policy. Policy. Some of these might only work for Windows 10 Pro and Windows 10 Enterprise editions because the Home Edition, I believe, does not come with some group policy settings. But there you have it. That's the maximum security for Windows Defender. But what if you don't want to run a very limited and restricted version of Windows for security and just want to check out a sketchy link or do your web browsing in a very secure environment? And you want to do that with absolute privacy, something not possible on Windows. In that case, check out our sponsor chasm. Once you log in, within minutes you'll be able to set up an instance of Chrome, Firefox, or a full desktop environment on Linux that is completely secure and disposable. So you can click on create to set up your workstation and in seconds we now have a full system that has got all these essential utilities. It's got Sublime, it's got Microsoft Teams, Slack, we've got our browsers as well. You can go ahead use this completely privately and then when you're done all you have to do is well go back and either resume using this system or just destroy it and create a new system next time. Once you hit this X button, it's going to delete the environment and all associated data, and you can start fresh. This is a great solution for people who want an absolutely secure platform without giving up the benefits of running Windows on their host. Chasm makes it very simple. You don't have to use a virtual machine. You don't have to use snapshots. You can essentially spin up any of these instances at any time from any system, and they'll always be snappy. And to demonstrate that, they even have a Doom instance that you can load up. And there you go. Now you are playing a game. <laughs> so that's Chasm for you. They're an amazing company. I've talked to the founders and they're actually willing to engage with the open source community and they're continuously improving their platform. So please check them out and show them some love for sponsoring the PC security channel. We might do a part two of this video where we're not necessarily executing the faults the same way so ASR can't be in full effect. That way we might be able to see how behavior monitoring and some of the other components would perform if the malware was delivered in a different way or in a traditional exploit type scenario. So if you want to check that out, make sure you subscribe to the PC security channel. Please like and share the video if you enjoyed it or found it useful because other people might too. Who knows, you might even save someone from a ransomware attack. Don't hesitate to reach out if you're a business and you'd like to work with us. You can always use the form on the website, thepcsecuritychannel.com or tpsc.tech. This is Leo from the PC Security Channel. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay informed, stay secure.